Good morning, spin enthusiasts. So we had a lot of fun in the live stream last night, seeing vines and like reliving all of this stuff and giving away our rifle, of course, talking about summer camp. I'm very excited. We're gonna do a lot more stuff about summer camp. I will put out so much more information about that on Monday. This morning, however, I woke up to really sad news from Facebook that our filter, the what equipment are you filter, has been taken down on Instagram. And they said it contained something that was violent or harmful or whatever. And I, once I, I did submit an appeal, once I submitted an appeal, I received a Q&A page and it had questions about firearms on it. So I'm pretty positive the reason it got taken down was because it has a picture of a color guard rifle in it. And I've been trying for a while, those of you who've been keeping up with some of our other artistic endeavors with the Instagram stickers, I have been trying and trying and trying to get my Instagram stickers with rifles in them approved. And I've got three, one that says rifle babe, one that is just simply a rifle, and then one that is um, a, little, a little one of Emma spinning a rifle. And I have not been able to get those approved yet, pretty sure because they look like firearms. So that kind of led me to this thought of, like, first of all, that's unfair to us because this is part of our culture and part of what we do is we spin rifles. But then on the other hand, I can also see where someone who's coming from another culture that does not contain color guard and they don't understand, they might be triggered just by a picture of something that looks like a rifle. Maybe it might cause some PTSD. Uh, maybe it might cause something else for them if they happen to see it. Now granted, I wouldn't think they would click on it if they didn't know what color guard was. But in Facebook's defense, they are trying to please everybody. Should they be trying to please everybody? No, but they're not pleasing people by stopping collecting information or anything like that or selling your information to ad companies. But that's a whole different can of worms. Anyway, the thought that it brought to mind is, do we need to make an adjustment in the color guard world where we are no longer spinning rifles. I know there's a lot of schools that have done it. They have switched to either um, sickles or they switched to air blades or they just don't use weapons at all whatsoever. Um, that is something that's been on my mind. And, and I know there's gonna be a huge pushback of people who are saying, no, this has to happen. We have to spin rifles. It's, it's, we've been doing it for years. It's part of our heritage. It's an approved equipment in WGI standards. So, but the thing is like, sorry, my thoughts were not super collected on this before I started. They're just kind of all over the place. But there was a point when a color guard, the flags that a color guard used only consisted of like the country flag, the state flag, and then like the military, whatever, uh, whatever unit you were with, their flag, that sort of thing. And then there was a shift toward flags that just happened to be red, white, and blue. And then there, of course, there's uh, the, all this big shift toward all these colorful and crazy flags we use today and curved poles and all sorts of other stuff. So can we get away from using rifles? Should we get away from using rifles? And if we did that, would that cause color guard to become more accepted and more seen by mainstream society? Anyway, these are just some thoughts I've had rolling around in my head this morning. I do have to go to work today, actually in at my job, not just working from home. But I don't know, it's just some thoughts that, that I keep jumbling around in my head. I wanted to get them out to you. I wanna know what do you think? Tell me in the comments. Let's get a discussion going about this because I, I think it's a really interesting point and I don't know where it could go from here. So anyway, Thanks guys for lending me your ears. Like I said, get the discussion going in the comments and I will talk to you later.